What is a single case agreement and how do I obtain one? This is our question of the day. A single case agreement is a special type of contract with the insurance company. Before we get started, I want to take a moment and thank Therapy Notes, our EHR of choice, for sponsoring this Q&A session. Therapy Notes is more than an EHR, it's a practice management system, and that makes a big difference. Think about all the processes that you need to run smoothly in your practice. Everything from scheduling clients to documentation, supervision, billing, you name it. I also love that Therapy Notes is super easy to, to use. I'm not the most tech savvy person. Um, they have excellent customer service available seven days a week, and it is super, super affordable. So head on over to therapynotes.com, use our community code, that's M-I-M-H, and try Therapy Notes for free for three months. So we're gonna tackle single case agreements. Single case agreements are contracts that you can obtain with an insurance company to be treated as an in-network provider for a single case or a single client. So this contracts allows you to bill the insurance company directly and to be paid directly from the insurance company. So why might you want to secure a single case agreement? I'm glad you asked. So one reason is if your client has an insurance plan that you don't want to take, but you want to make an exception for that particular client. So you could pursue and obtain a single case agreement for that one client and still remain completely private pay and out of network for all of the clients who have that insurance. And so we do this with United Healthcare as well as with Aetna because we we it isn't advantageous for us to be in network across the board. Another reason is continuity of care. So if you are leaving an organization and your new organization or even your own practice isn't in network, obtaining a single case agreement can allow that client to continue to see you without a disruption in care or financial hardship. And so again, um, even if you want to eventually be in network, we know that there's a gap, right? So that leads us to the third point. Credentialing can take a while. So single case agreements can be utilized while you're waiting for your request to be in the network process. So for many of us starting a practice, it could be you know anywhere between 90 and 180 days before we're in network. So single case agreements are good in that regard. So here are some tips to help you secure a single case agreement. You first wanna contact provider relations or the prior authorization department. Usually you can get to one another um, the same way. These are usually the departments who handle the request for a single case agreement. And you'll wanna ask for a single case agreement, but you need to be prepared to share a few pieces of information about the client. So you need to know the member's name and their date of birth. You also need to know the member's ID number, a tentative diagnosis that you think you're gonna be treating for, and then a list of CPT codes and a number of sessions you intend to bill for. So for example, we generally ask for two units of 90791 and 12 units of 90837. You can negotiate for more or reauthorize more later. Uh, number three, negotiate to be paid your full fee. You're not a network. You don't have to accept their contract rate. This is the perfect time to negotiate. You also want to follow up. Sometimes your contract is not loaded properly on the billing side. So you want to follow up to make sure that it's activated, that you can verify benefits and that they have the right rate for you. If you have a question you'd like us to answer, go ahead and submit it at qna.masteringinsurance.com. You also can join us for a live office hour and ask your questions um, in the Admin Academy by visiting masteringinsurance.com slash admin hyphen academy. Our courses are also CE approved. And so go ahead and get your PDs while you are getting your questions answered about how to navigate insurance credentialing, getting paid and all the things that happen in between. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.